Matthew chapter 23, verses 37 through 39. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, thou that killest the prophets and stonest them which are sent unto thee, how often would I have gathered thy children together, even as a hen gathereth her chickens under her wings, and ye would not. Behold, your house is left unto you desolate, for I say unto you, ye shall not see me henceforth, till ye say, Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. I want to greet you from the Mount of Olives in Jerusalem, Israel. I'm coming to you today to remind you the importance of praying for the peace of Jerusalem. It's a beautiful day here. It's a busy day here on the overlook of the Mount of Olives. There are many tour groups here. There are camel rides going on just a few feet away. But what's in my heart today is a little chapel that sits right down to my left here. It's called the Church of Dominus Flevit. It's the Church of Tears. It commemorates the place where these words that I just read to you were spoken by our Lord Jesus, Yeshua, as he looked over the city of Jerusalem and he wept because so many in this city rejected his ministry, rejected the testimony that he brought of the Father, and it broke his heart. It breaks my heart to see that even in this day, there are so many in this land, both Jew and Arab, who do not know the saving grace that comes through trusting in our Savior, the Messiah, Yeshua. But we pray for the peace of Jerusalem, and we pray for Israel and the Jewish people. We pray for the Arab people who live in this land, that one day, as the Scripture promises, their eyes will be open, and they will recognize the one which they have pierced. We're here today to bring this into your attention, to remind you the importance of remembering Israel when you pray. The Bible tells us in Psalms 122, verse 6, Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper that love thee. The psalmist is not only giving us instruction that we should remember to pray for the peace of Jerusalem and for all of Israel, but he is attaching to that prayer a promise. And the promise is, they shall prosper that love thee. So there is a blessing that is attached to this instruction to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. If you will remember this city in your prayers and her people, God will prosper you and bless you. That reveals the heart of God for the city of Jerusalem and for the Jewish people. So much that he says, if you will remember them, if you will pray for her, I will prosper you and I will bless you. Another Psalm that's very special to us is Psalms 137 verses five through six. If I forget thee, O Jerusalem, let my right hand forget her cunning. If I do not remember thee, let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth. If I prefer not Jerusalem above my chief joy. And then another verse of scripture, the prophet Isaiah says in Isaiah chapter 62 and verse one, for Zion's sake will I not hold my peace. And for Jerusalem's sake, I will not rest until the righteousness thereof go forth as brightness and the salvation thereof as a lamp that burneth. It doesn't take too much time to uh, skim through the Bible and see multitudes of scriptures about the city of Jerusalem, about Zion, about Mount Moriah or Moriah. We think of Avraham, Abraham our father. We think of our Lord Yeshua here in the city of Jerusalem for the Feast of Dedication. He was here for Sukkot, right across this valley here on the Temple Mount. We think about a time that the scriptures record that Yeshua came to the Mount of Olives. And it was on that particular visit that the leaders brought this little woman to him who had been caught in the act of adultery. We also find in the scripture that on this very mountain, often Yeshua would pull away from the hustle and bustle of the upper city. He would come to this mountain with his disciples. Perhaps he would find a quiet cave. And there are caves very near to where I'm standing right now, uh, near a church where uh, the Lord's Prayer is 
printed in, in many, many different languages to commemorate perhaps the very area where our Lord was teaching His disciples to pray. I could go on forever about the wonderful, miraculous things that have taken place in this city. But I want to remind you that the destiny of this city is not just what she has been or what God has accomplished here. There are still great and mighty things that are going to be accomplished in the city of Jerusalem. The prophets have prophesied and the word of the Lord cannot fail. It has to come to pass. So whatever you're doing right now, I invite you to just take a moment and stop what you're doing and pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Pray for the Jewish people. There's never been a, a more important hour to stand with Israel. And I just wanted to bless you today and send you love and thank you for making it possible for us to be here in this holy city praying and prophesying and declaring the future that God has already promised by the prophets in His Word. Shalom from Jerusalem.